Dale Reynolds Gaming, racing excellence. Hello everybody, my name is Dale Reynolds and I thank you for coming back to another NASCAR Thunder 2004 The Rookie Championship Season Challenge In the last race we were at Daytona and we finished third with Irishman's Paint Scheme We did fantastic in Daytona, we were able to get a lot of money And we were able to start immediately going to work on the team See, the sponsorships are nice and happy. Well, they're getting happy right now anyway. They start off at like a 60, so they're going, they better be happy. We finished 35th, or we finished third in the Daytona 500, and they want us to like finish 35th. So we're doing all right there. You can see that we've already got the, our chassis and engines and bodies already overhauling and stuff like that. Crew guys are happy. And we've already got a shop edition coming in three races for the chassis shop for more uh, tire grips. So. Again, proving it to you guys. Once again, legend difficulty, no assists. Throwing it out there. I didn't change these settings in between. Like, there it is. Still legend difficulty, 10% race length. Like, you know, no driving assists. Everything is good. Everything is good. So, in this video, we're heading to Rockingham for the Subway 400. This paint scheme. A big shout out to Alexandre Daigle, who... You can see that I named it. I didn't quite have the room, so Alexander. <laughs> Alexander. <laughs> but Alexandre Dago painted this paint scheme. A big shout out to you and a big thank you for the paint scheme. This is what he came up with, and it is a Pontiac. Like I said, I'm a Chevy guy, but I don't have a problem with Pontiac because Pontiac is a GM brand, just like Chevy. So, running the Pontiac Grand Prix here in this video, and this is the scheme that he designed. It's the blend scheme. Looks very nice. Got like a yellowish gold kind of going on with black and black numbers and white outlines. It looks good, man. It looks good. I like it. Thank you very much, Alexandre, for the paint scheme. A big shout out to you, somebody who has also been a pretty dedicated fan of mine. So a big thank you to you for your, for your paint scheme and your submission. So we're going to race race number two here at North Carolina at Rockingham. This race should be a little bit better because you know the daytona 500 was so important that i was being more factual than actually like enjoying the race so you guys hopefully it'll be a little bit better this time around so here we go going ready to getting ready to race so we only have the one engine chassis body to pick so we'll just quick select and go to rockingham all right so here's the car setup that i will be using for this race today again manual transmission tire pressure 20 pounds that seems to be pretty fair for rockingham a little bit lower tire pressure 74 inches 74 inch for the front fender flare and a 62 i'm actually gonna bump that bump that down to 60 on the rear spoiler 40 percent on the front spring 60 percent on the rear springs with a negative 1.0 wedge um, this setup usually runs really good at rockingham and uh, i used to run at like a 65 and 70 um, but I'm noticing with the lower downforce, it gets to, just for me, it's more of a simulation feel. Like, you have to back up the corners a little bit. And by also pulling the downforce out of the front of the car and pulling the downforce down, it's not putting as much pressure on the wheels. So with this low tire pressure combo that we have, a little less downforce is not going to push down and wear the tires out as much as possible. Is it a little bit less grip? Yes. But Rockingham beats the snot out of tires. So you want to try and find that balance between, you know, tire pressure and downforce and trying to make things, you know, work and try to work for the long run. And these are the gear ratios that I will be using. It's a custom. It's, you know, it's, I think it's essentially a preset five with the 360, 210, 155, and 110. So yeah, it's... It's essentially preset five, but I backed up the fourth gear to a 113 to get a little more revolutions out of it. That is the car setup. I invite you guys to try and use that setup and let me know how you guys do with that car setup. Please let me know how it works out for you guys, whether you like it or don't like it. Feel free to let me know. Rusty Wallace is on the pole. Coming off of our really good third place starting position in the Daytona 500. Let's see where we can do in qualifying here. 
at Rockingham. Car feels pretty good. Use that red marker as your brake as your break point going into turn three. Coming off of corner number four, where are we gonna run on this first lap here? Look at that baby pole position on the out lap. Bam! How about that rookie driver from Bristol, Connecticut? 2373 on the pole on the out lap. Car felt pretty good right there. It did. It felt real good. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to I'm going to drop this wedge down another half a click there. I felt like it could have been a turn a little bit better, but I mean, maybe it was just me. Maybe it was just me. So that car setup has now set let us sit on the pole. 23 some 23 7 something after the on the out lap so alexandre we might be able to pull this off for you second race of this career mode this championship season career mode play through rockingham we're starting on the pole uh rusty wallace will be to our outside ladies and gentlemen without further ado let's go racing at rockingham the 83 car is getting to be well known and respected by some of the other drivers out there a driver's attitude towards you can drastically change how he races you. And when a driver gets along well with you, just makes things a whole lot easier when you come across them on the racetrack. Forty-three Winston Cup engines have fired, and ain't that a pretty sight, Alexandre, on the pole at Rockingham with your paint scheme? That's a pretty sight for a pretty car. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thirty-nine laps here at Rockingham. Green flag is out, and we are underway at Rockingham. Can't really get clear of Rusty Wallace here, that's okay. They're gonna get a nasty run off a of turn two. Immediately slip back to third. Car's a little free, but look at that drive through the center, baby. That's the one thing I've always liked about this setup, is that, ooh, and I run into Rusty Wallace a little bit there, that uh, this car gets real good drive center off. Have to check up a little bit earlier out of the corners, but you get real good drive center off. Car is actually a little bit free. Maybe I could have not put that, not taken out that extra half around. But we're in the lead. Look at that. Junior's trying to race us here for that, for the lead. But we're holding it down, baby. We are. We're holding it down. Got a little bit of a gap now to Junior out the back. Car, like I said, a little free going in. I could probably use to take some of that wedge out. But then again, it's still early in the run. The tires are going to wear out, and it might actually come to me a little bit there once we get a little time on these tires, but this car drives beautifully. Center off the corners, a little bit free, but not bad. It's manageable anyways. This thing just, it, it drives center off so good. Little, ooh, little loose, quite loose in actually. Junior's on my inside. Gotta try not to overdrive the corners. I, I feel like I could have not done that extra half around on the wedge there but it it gets such good drive center off I, I there's nothing that beats that being able to have that drive center off gotta try and make sure that i hit the brakes because it's a little loose on entry i gotta try and hit the brakes and keep the car straight before i actually start turning it junior fighting for the lead here having a really good race man you see that it's just pretty much we, we pulled away you know, Junior's giving us a fight. Mark Martin's right there. But aside from that, there's not really anybody there. You know, there's not really anybody there. So I think I'll take that half a round of wedge out because it is it is a little free. It's not really getting better. It's still just kind of there. The looseness of the car is still just kind of there. So I think I'll take that half a round of wedge. I'll put that half round back in it on the pit stop. Still racing with Junior here. Still holding the fork down in the lead here.
still holding the fort down. I like it. Fuel is at half. Halfway on fuel. So we got plenty in the tank. Even though I've shortened up this fourth gear and I run into the wall like an idiot. <laughs> We've shortened up this fourth gear to give us a little more oomph off the corners. And I mean, we're still doing good on fuel. So I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, I am the man. Thank you for telling me that. Uh, slipped up a little bit right there. Junior's going to get to my inside. This thing still has so much good drive center and off, though, that I may, he's not able to really run away from me. Driving a little bit deep, going into turn one. Try to shut the door on him. Take that lead back. Yeah, I'm going to definitely put that half round wedge back into it because it... It's the looseness is still there. I thought maybe once the tires wore out that the balance would change. The balance really hasn't changed. As a matter of fact, it's gotten just it's gotten just less grip, which makes the car a little bit more unstable, considering that this thing is is sliding a little bit. But as loose as the car is, I'm surprised that the right front is the one that's going first. Figure it'd been like the right rear or something that's going first. <laughs> Dale Jarrett has joined the battle here at Rockingham. But we're still leading. We're still giving them hell, baby. I like this. Still giving them hell. Here comes Dale O.P. Jarrett. Dale Jarrett will take the lead with relative ease on us. So we have lost the lead. We're back to second. These guys check up big time going into turn one. So if you can dive in just right... You can stand a chance if you can dive it into turn one just right. But they also get a nasty run off of turn two, so I guess it kind of evens out a little bit. Dale Jarrett is starting to pull away. Dale Jarrett, so far, really OP. Ran away with the Daytona 500 all by himself without any drafting help. Like, <laughs> I want what somebody, I want what he's got. <laughs> I do, I want what he's got. Dylan Hart Jr. is gonna coming in pit lane. That's something to keep an eye out for. He pit a little early. He's gonna gain some time. Car is just got no grip now. We're on real old tires. The front end's not gripping. The rear end is still swinging loose. We just don't have a whole lot of grip right now. Pit now. You gonna be out of fuel. We'll be all right. I'm going to go one more time. I want to pit on 20. Dale Jarrett's coming in to pit this time. Here comes Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart tried to fill my mirror up a little bit there. I saw his passing indicator. See, look at that. This thing, is she's, she's just got no grip right now. We definitely got to put that half round of wedge back into it. I will be pitting this time. I know we stayed out on the track a little while longer than some of these guys, and the pit crew's not terribly fast, but I'm hoping with the fresher tires, it'll even out. Coming into pit lane. Mike Skinner, I need to get into pit lane. <laughs> gonna put that half round back into it, and we're gonna call it a day right there. 1766, let's hope the pit crew can, let's hope the pit crew can do their job. So far, it looks so good. It's going to be about a 16-3. 16-3. Nailed it. Prediction correct. A little bit faster than predicted. Did still lose a little time here on pit road. There goes Jarrett. There goes Mark Martin. We're back in 16th. And coming out of pit lane here. But we still got cars that are out there. So we'll, be, we'll definitely be back into the top 10 as... Looks like uh, Steve Park is blowing up. Good stop by the boys. Didn't lose a ton of time. Here we go. Look at that. Up to 12 past Tony Stewart. Car is definitely more stable. I like that as I run Christian Fittipaldi into the wall. Get out of my way. I got to get while the getting's good. While the tires are still good and fresh and good and grip. Yeah. Got to get while the getting's good, baby. More cars on pit road here up to 10th, 9th, 8th, 7th, 6th. We'll probably be about 5th because there's a couple of cars on pit lane still. 
including the leader, whoever the leader might be. So we lost time on pit road because of the crew, but I can't fault them because they were faster than the estimated pit time. They did their job, they did it pretty good. So up to fifth, fourth, might be third here. Who's that? No, that's Kyle Petty. He ain't for position. <laughs> fourth. All right, so we're fourth after the round, a sequence of pit stops. So, again, still really good. Still in the top five. We're doing pretty good right here, man. And we got lap cars in front of us, so maybe the lap cars will help play a role into seeing if we can't pick up any more spots with these leaders. So, we're only about four or five seconds behind the leader. I know the spotter just said something, but I didn't pay attention because I don't ever listen to my spotter. 3-1. Down to 3.1 seconds to off the lead here. Car gets so good center off. We pulled away from Tony Stewart. Coming up on some lap traffic now. It's now 3.2 seconds to the leader. Mark Martin is the first spot in front of us. You can see him outside of, looks like Hermie Sadler there. Again, see if I can't maybe make up some time with these lap cars being in the way. Get out of the way, Biffle. Don't block me. <laughs> 2.9. Gain some time on the leaders right there. This wedge adjustment has helped. I'm able to drive into the corner a little bit straighter, a little bit harder without losing so much grip. It does sacrifice a little bit of the turn that I have in the center of the corner, but I'm okay with that because I like... As far as entering the corners, I like being able to drive in as hard as I need to without losing the rear end. So, we are making up some time. Here is Mark Martin in front of us. Lap cars are helping. All right, Hermie Sadler, get out of the way. Still uh, two and a half seconds behind the leader. See if I can't, see if, uh, now that we're clear of lap traffic, I want to see if I can still race with Mark Martin here and maybe gain that third spot. Car starting to build a little tight, but it's all right. Try not to run to the back of Mark Martin as I dive into turn one. Am I clear? Barely. Oh, barely clear. Up to third. Passing Mark Martin for that third spot. Car just gets real good center off still. Even though I tightened it up a little bit, still got good bite center off. Really love that about this setup here, Rockingham. Now I got lap cars in front of me like Ken Schrader. They're now actually getting in my way. Mark Martin is falling back a little bit. Is that Junior up in front of me? That might be. I might be able to get second out of this thing. I might be able to. I think Jarrett's still leading this damn thing. Yes, he is. Dale OP Jarrett so far in this career mode. Rookie Championship Season Challenge. Dale Jarrett's way out there. Might be able to track Junior down here for this second spot. We will see. Hopefully the car doesn't fall off too bad. Tony Stewart starting to make up some time here. He's in my passing indicator zone. Fucking Jarrett, man. Killing it right now, man. He's killing it. See if Joe Nemechek will hold up Junior just to fur like a little bit. Maybe I can get around Junior here. Car starting to free up, entering the corners. But we're holding it down in third, baby. I like it. Oh, I ran to the back of Nima check because he checked up way fucking sooner than I thought he was going to. Holy shit. Almost gave it away right there. Car is starting to tighten up here a bit. I may not be able to catch Junior. I want to try at least hold Tony Stewart off. Got a good run through turns one and two right there. Got some lap cars here in front of Dale Jr. Able to really drive it in deep into turn one. I'm on his bumper now. He's gonna get the good drive off. Gonna be a nice little battle here if I can keep the rear end underneath me going into these corners. Hopefully these lap cars can play a role and maybe I can get around Jr. for the second spot here. And I'm going to try and do my thing down there, drive it in real deep. I cleared Junior and Brett Bodine. And up to second with two one and a half laps left now here at Rockingham. Up to second. 
holding the fourth down. Dale Jarrett once again just way out there. Mayfield, you're really going to block me? Get out of the damn way. I need you to get out of my way. Get out of the way. That's right. Give you a little door. That's right. Eat that wall. Get out of my way. <laughs> I'm, I'm on the lead lap. I know that my car might throw you off, but yes, I am on the lead lap running second. Dale Jarrett's going to win this damn race again. We're going to come home in second. Fantastic. A fantastic run. So far to start this career mode championship challenge. A third at Daytona. Second here. Dale Jarrett, yours truly, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Tony Stewart. So Mayfield's a rival because he wanted to block me. That's your own fault. Joe Nemechek, that's my fault. I ran into the back of him. Rusty Wall's still a plus 92. Ricky Craven's still a buddy of mine as well. Here's the bank. So, again, we accomplished all the tasks, obviously. We started on the pole and finished second. So, um, 294000 with the sponsors that we got. It's not bad. It's something, anyways. So, yeah. Checking out the uh, point standings here. So, Dale Jarrett has won both races so far. This is going to be a problem. If one of the AI drivers is just consistently winning races like this, we may not be able to win this championship, even though we are running so far fantastic even though we're running really really good to kick off this season dale jarrett has finished ahead of us in both races two wins two top fives two top tens with a 1.0 average finish yours truly up to second in points now two straight top fives a third and a second dale and hart jr third mark martin ricky rudd the top five with michael walter ryan newman kevin harvick bill elliott and rusty wallace in the top 10 after Rockingham. Not bad. We're off to a very good start and I told you guys this is gonna be fun. I'm having fun trying to attempt this rookie championship season challenge. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Alexandre, a big shout out once again to Alexandre Dago for painting this car. Please feel free to use the car setup that I use in today's video and let me know how you do with it in your own career mode playthrough. My name is Dale Reynolds. I thank you for tuning in to this, rocking, to this Rockingham race here, race number two of 36 in the championship season challenge. If you like what you saw, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell next to that subscribe button. This way you get notified. Shouting out to everybody. Like this. Subscribe this. If we can do this championship season, I want to see so many people like this thing that it's not even funny. I want you to share with everybody who is doing this career mode, is doing this career mode playthrough on YouTube. Spread the word, baby. I'm laying the challenge down. I want to see if I have to eat my words or not. But anyway, be safe. Have fun. In the next race, we're going to Las Vegas for the UAW Daimler Chrysler 400. Until then, be safe. Have fun. I will see you guys on the next video. Deuces.